So, I have been single for quite a while now, and many people have suggested that I try online dating. So I figured the best option would be to go through Twitter, or X as they call it now. On this beautiful website, I found the account at Girl, who posted that she was accepting applications for a partner. So I figured that I would give it a shot. And I am going to be filming all of this in the interest of oversharing, something Ayla does a lot. I needed the diarrhea immediately, and then I was like walking down the sidewalk at some point, and then, uh, and then I did, I did poop in a bush. I had to jump into a bush right on the side of the road. Me and her do seem to have things in common. Seems we both got autism, haven't we? Yes, that. But she's also a content creator. Her focusing more on pornographic content across many different genres, including gnome porn in addition to her escorting service, which is how she made her money. She also posts a lot on Twitter, sharing many insightful thoughts. She is generally considered attractive, successful, and clearly a very interesting personality. So I feel like she would be a good partner for me. I say the word partner, as she herself says, she does not like the terms boyfriend or girlfriend, as that implies monogamy, and she is very much polyamorous. So I am applying to be one of her many, many partners, rather than the traditional relationship structure. She accepts applications through the use of a survey. A way to mathematically rattle out potential suitors. So I did one survey. She has done a lot of surveys before, as Ayla is someone who prides herself as being a sexual researcher, identifying as a rationalist, posting a lot of surveys on kink, politics, sex and ethics, surveying many of her followers, a large amount of them being paedophiles. One of these surveys was about what counts of rape are the most to the least severe, and afterwards she ranked them all into the rape spectrum with having sex with an unenthusiastic sex worker and person with Down syndrome eagerly has sex with a neurotypical near the top and a person has a rape fetish. Their friend, trying to be helpful, gets a stranger to abduct them and forcibly penetrate this person at the bottom. Her most famous survey, however, was an application form to join her birthday party. This party was actually a gangbang, so she could have sex with as many men as possible on this day. She would ask potential orgy attendees basic questions such as what your sexual preference seems to be more, whether or not you're inviting any women and who, and you get born in the year 1400 and live in a small town where everyone you know, family, friends, intellectual elites, leaders, all unambiguously devoutly religious, would you, through reason, eventually stop believing in this religion? After finishing the application process, she created a Sankey diagram to analyse the results, narrowing down the 1,604 people who responded to this survey to the ones that were interviewed, rejected, went through the mandatory SDI testing, and the 42 men that showed up to have sex with her. Five of them didn't bang Ayla. 37 penetrated her, but only 17 actually came inside of her. The others either didn't come or came in a fluffer, one of the other women that were involved in this gangbang. All of them had a maximum of three minutes, and the first man to have sex with Ayla that day lost his virginity there while shouting the phrase inside of her. She has thrown many orgies similar to this, including a party for Bay Area rationalists. The rules to attend were that you had to be wearing a full face coverage mask and be naked. And after they all stripped off, they proceeded to sit in a polite circle and debate global trade. As interesting as an event like this may be, this is not what I am applying for. I'm instead for a longer term romance with this wonderful woman. She has said publicly that she has had the most romantic success 
from surveys like this, including her last primary partner. A man who, while in their relationship, made a paper card for her to apologise for telling her she is not that pretty, after she cried for an hour about it, although she eventually agreed. He also has a survey to have sex with him, in case anyone is interested. So, without further ado, let's start this survey. Wish me luck, guys. Okay, so there are trap questions. Questions that may seem like she wants a certain answer. But I think we all know that uh, she cares less about some things than others do. Yeah, that's great. She may recommend me to some of her lady friends. Such as uh, Miss uh, Destiny over here. And I might recommend you to some of mine. I know one man who I think you'll be very compatible with. My name is Sycorax, S-Y-C-O-R-A-X. I shall link my YouTube channel here. That is something I give you a lot of permission to stalk. DMs on Twitter? Sure. I do have a Twitter, actually. Uh, I don't have many followers. I think I have like six and they're all like fucking porn bots. But I'll happily share it and I think you can DM me there. What is my gender? Tough question that. Uh, I believe at the moment I am a man cis. Do I have kids? No. Do you want more kids? Probably yes. I believe she would be a great mother to my offspring. However, I don't even need to date her to do this. As she is selling her eggs on her website as well. As she claims her genes are wonderful. And that she'd like to see more of her in the world. Would you be open to dating someone who wants monogamy? In reality, I think I probably would. But I know for a fact that Ayla definitely does not want this. Even someone who considers monogamy is a bad choice. She is all about polyamory and only polyamory. So I think that is something I will accept and say. I want to only ever watch her sleep with other men while I sit in a cook chair. Just as a quick note, I have just found out that Ayla considers the C word I just said a slur, so I apologise for saying it, and I do not mean it in a derogatory sense. Ah, net worth, yeah, the great question. Probably at the moment, I am closer to one million in debt, but because you're all going to donate to my Patreon and PayPal, I'd say, yes, it's more than a billion. How many people have you had sex with? Um, does she mean in the last week or ever? Either way, it's 201 plus. Imagine we go on three dates. I, Ayla, like you a lot and want to start dating more seriously. What's the probability you would want to enter a more serious relationship with me? Well, obviously 91 to 100%. This is Ayla, girl. How could I not? In life, whose power level is greater? I'm not great at power scaling. I have a few power scaling experts that follow these things. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd probably say Ayla has a slightly larger power level than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this one. I've got to admit, this one uh, took me off guard a little. For Ayla's dating survey, one of the first questions she asks is... Is there a correlation between race and IQ? And the options are, no, definitely not. And any supposed evidence for this is deeply flawed or biased. Or, the concept of IQ, or race, is silly slash invalid. And this question is based on a faulty frame. Yes, but this is due entirely to environmental factors or systemic oppression. And isn't genetically influenced. Yes. Probably due to a mix of environmental factors and genetics. Yes, entirely due to genetics. And there's nothing else I can pick. Oh, fuck. Am I allowed to skip this one? Uh, I can't see a skip option, so uh, yeah. This took a turn. Which one doesn't get me cancelled? Uh, probably the first one. 
fuck that. <laughs> Again, the smartest top 0.1% of people on the planet are clearly majority male, slightly more male, equally male and female, slightly more female, clear majority female. <laughs> Minimum wage is a mark of a civilised or delusional society. <laughs> if some men are doctors and some doctors are tall, does it follow that some men are tall? <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't care about any of these. Why the fuck is she asking me these questions? Which option completes the ninth spot? I like that one. I like D. He looks funny. Let's just put D there. Because it doesn't actually matter whether it follows a sequence or not. I can put whatever I want, wherever I want. For transacting money for what's normally unspoken social things, paying a friend after staying at their place, paying a friend to, for their time talking to you is... Pretty awful. <laughs> so yeah, kind of awful, neutral, kind of good, really good. I assume she thinks that, given that she, you know, exchanges money for sex. I often feel inferior to others. Never, I am the superior being. <laughs> Sharing toothbrushes. Why not? Hey, I'll share anything. How at peace are you with yourself? How self-accepting are you? When your partner is sad and crying, you generally feel strong compulsion to make them happy. Mild compulsion to make them happy. No compulsion to make them happy. Let's make them happy. Mildly. <laughs> when you watch Born on Your Own, it's fully gentle, eager, somewhat gentle, eager. 50% gentle, 50% rough. Somewhat rough, slash brutal. Fully rough, slash brutal. I don't watch Born at all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty kinky guy, so I'll go with fully gentle slash eager. Eagerness and gentleness is an amazing kink. <laughs> Which is hottest? A girl wants it's a first, but ends up not wanting it. <laughs> what the fuck? A girl wants it first and continually loves it throughout. A girl doesn't want it at first, but eventually gives it and ends up loving it. A girl doesn't want it at first, and doesn't end up giving, or end up loving it. So, uh, rape. Rape, 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 or not rape. Again, in the years of not getting cancelled, which... And obviously, having a more composite say. <laughs> the second, the one that's not rape. Yeah. Apologies, Ayla. I am not a rapist, if that's what you wanted. <laughs> like, porn is violent, and this is a good teaching of men what women want. In general, you tend to prefer the role of completely submissive, mostly submissive, slightly submissive, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, fucking, I don't know. <laughs> Why is this, like, a thing? Like, does it even have to be a battle? Can't we just chill? I, 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 I don't, this is not a war. We don't need to dominate anyone. Just chill, dude. How determined are you to make your partner orgasm during sex? Um, uh... Partners using toys during sex. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, I don't even know what that is, but sure, it is extremely hot. Sure, I'm just going to say everything's hot now. <laughs> Maybe not that. Sure, hot. 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 <laughs> okay, if your most taboo fetish got leaked to the world, how horrified slash disgusted would people be? Not horrified, actually. A little horrified, but it'd be survivable. Somewhat horrified, it'd be rough. Utterly horrified, it'd be severe. I mean, I think I'd survive. <laughs> uh, nothing committable by death penalty. In a long-term relationship, how often do you like having sex with your partner? Or primary partner? Assuming they were happy with the frequency. <laughs> okay, she's trolling now. How fat, spelled P-H-A-T, is your penis? What is its chonkiness? Yeah, I'm not going to reveal this. Yeah, these questions probably missed a lot of important and awesome aspects about yourself. Use the box below to let me know what I should know about you. I am a filmmaker. Documentaries are really 
cool. Not sure I want to use AI to make child porn, <laughs> but it's an interesting suggestion. What about me generates interest in you? Like, what aspects are the things that resonate with your values or whatever you're looking for? Fucking everything. You are insane. Lee interesting. So we, she may shoot me a message. Uh, yeah, and I hope I hope she does because uh, I think we'll make quite a pair. Okay, so the application has been sent off, and so far I have not heard from her. But who knows? She may be the one. This may be my happy ending. In making this video, I just want to make it clear that I don't want Ayla to think I'm trolling. I don't have anything against Ayla, the work she does, be it the sex work or the sex researcher. I'm not a Puritan at all. And you know, she may hear me laugh at points. And what I will say is that is genuinely my honest reaction to this. You know, reactions such as laughter, shock, embarrassment, mockery and shame. These are all important human traits that you can't just boil down to data on a screen. Maybe I can make my own power level as high as I want. And if that doesn't work, I could just hire you for $4,000 an hour or $70,000 for three days. Or maybe we could actually, uh, on second thoughts, I'm not really sure this girl's really my type. So I'm going to send all this to uh, Cybersmith instead, because I think they would be a better couple. I might just ask out that nice chill girl I met at the club the other day. She uh, probably showers more than 37 times a year. 37 showers is like maybe the most I've showered in a few years. It could have been a lot worse. Like, I didn't know poo for four years. And um, yeah, I think we'll wait till after the first date to start debating racial phrenology. The next episode of Human Pet is coming soon, so please follow my Patreon to get it as soon as it arrives.